Well, this video is to show you how to do a quick repair to the 1997 AT-AT missile launcher. Now, the AT-AT uh, that I have had for 20 some odd years, I bought it on clearance from Toys R Us for $30 back in 1997, and it was in the box for over 20 years, and I finally just dug it out uh, this year, and both the missile launchers didn't work. Uh, you stick it in, and they pop right out. And it didn't matter if I flipped it over, both missile launchers, uh, it wouldn't stay in. And uh, my son and I, we enjoy playing with these. And so I thought, well, I, I want to get it working. So I want to see what the mechanics are of it. And I was pretty successful last night after trying a bunch of different things with the first one to get it to go in and, uh, and, and to lock in place and not launch out. So a quick fix that you can try is to notch this back just a bit. So the problem with the missile is that there is not enough meat here for the hook or latch, if you will, on the inside to grab. And uh, so it just simply just slips right over. Um, it doesn't lock in place. So one of the things you can do is instead of having a right angle, which is the way this is cut, is to dig in just a bit on, uh, I think that's an acute angle. Maybe that's the wrong, maybe that's obtuse. Anyway, uh, just cut in just a bit and that may be the quick fix. That may be all you need to do. Um, but again, there's not a lot of meat on there for it to hook on. Now this side does a better job than the other side of staying in, but, and you'll see right now it's, it's fine. Uh, however, I can pull it out pretty easily and you probably could do after you make the fix. I'm going to show you, but I didn't want it launching across the room and then not be able to find it for the video. So what I end up doing with the other one is taking it apart. And these are just two halves that are lightly glued together. Now this one's a bit of a bugger than uh, more of a bugger than the other one was. So what you need is a flat screwdriver and the thinner the screwdriver, the better. So that way you don't notch into your plastic here, but wider also is so if you can get wide and flat, that's also good. So what I want to do is to try and spread these two pieces apart. I'm going to use a hammer here. And now I'm going to replace that one with the wider one. You'll see it start to come apart. There are some little pins that were on the other one. Hopefully I don't break them off. There we go. And looks like that one did break off to a certain extent. Now we're going to try the lower half. Be careful as you force things that you don't jam a screwdriver into your hand. All right, and you'll see now it's starting to come apart nicely. Now you may think, well, you can go ahead and, you know, try an X-Acto knife. And yeah, you could do that. However, I've uh, restored enough old models stuff that I've done and stuff that I've done of others that trying to get two halves apart that are really glued well together. Sometimes the X-Acto knife does more damage than good. So we're going to just keep moving forward with the screwdriver through this and it's pretty pliable plastic. So, um, it's not very brittle. don't want to spread too much apart. Okay. Oops. Just dropped it. Put the missile there. I'm going to keep working on this lower half here. And you can see a little pin coming. I'm going to wet, get my second screwdriver in. See if I can wedge that apart a bit more. There we go. I'll kind of work my way to the back. Now 
we just have to get this seam unglued. There we are. Okay. Now we have our two pieces. And this is the piece right here. And so the missile hooks into that little spring. And then it's going to catch right there on that little hook. Well, that's the problem. So what I'm going to do right now, it's got a right angle. I'm going to make it come back just a bit. And on the other one, the spring was a little bit. There we go. Okay, pull off the spring. And I'm going to take my Dremel here. And I'm going to, I've got a cutting wheel. Cord is caught on something. Okay. All right. Try that again. Flatten that edge out. Is that more of a point? At least that's what I did on the other one. It worked pretty well. Okay, so now, uh, now working through this, we got our pin and spring back on and it's got a little pin here that goes into this hole so bingo there we are you don't want to lose the piece that notches onto the add at it looks like that's gonna hold really nicely okay now the real test now will be to see how the two halves go together. Okay, and so we will press the two halves together and boom. To the other side. Now that side and this side, I'm going to Notch that back just a bit. Now, the other thing you could try is using a file. And I have a number of files here. I think I'll use my triangular. This is a square. Triangular file. See how that does. Nice. Okay. That locks in really well. Okay. So now that that is done, now what we need to do is clean up the seams so that way we can glue it back together. All right. So just some advice on that. Uh, we'll take out that piece. It doesn't fall. So you see all this rough edges here. So what you want to do is file that down. And I have a series of, uh, of just like uh, files that I, these are uh, squadron sanding sticks. You, you know, if you don't want to buy that, you can go on to, uh, uh, you can find those through Amazon or any hobby store. But you can also go to Target or any of your grocery stores that have nail files and just get get those. Uh, and I'm starting with coarse and then going to fine or medium and then going to fine here. Um, now this side's going to be a little bit more tricky in the fact that it's got the pins. You can see there's a couple pins here. Um, some broke off in the process, which you know that, that is what it is. But the point is that we want to have a successful launching gun. 
and uh, so once that's done then uh, you have everything all cleaned up the way you like it then all I need to do is take some styrene cement and glue the two halves together uh, just reassembling everything back the way that I've shown you again when you're reassembling it uh, this piece here it's got a little pin and so that's going to go into the hole right there it's as simple as that and uh, this little nub does not go in that notch by the way uh, and then don't forget this clear piece otherwise you won't be able to attach it to the adat's head and then put the two halves together glue them and that's it there's all there is to it uh, thing you might want to have these are some hobby clamps and uh, or some real small rubber bands uh, to press the two pieces together and then once the two halves are done uh, things all look pretty nice so good luck to you on your project